Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rosophy, and today I want to talk about tinywow.com. Now this website is absolutely amazing, I really love this website, I, I've been using it for quite a while now. And basically it is a website that has all the tools that you could ever want for basically almost anything for free. And note, this is not some kind of a piracy website or something, it's not. It is a fully legal website, but it offers all of its tools for free, which I think is pretty damn cool if I do, if I do say so myself. Now, let, let's actually just explore this website. I've left timestamps in the description, so if you're only interested in one of a few of these tools, then just you know click to that part of the video. I'm gonna go over everything um, in limited format, of course. So, you know, use the timestamps if you need them. Anyway, let's first start off with um, the basic layout of the website, right? As we can see, there is a PDF section, an image sec section, excuse me, a writing section, a video section, and then a file section. So it's split up into those uh, parts in this case. Now, uh, for me personally, I mainly tend to use the image section the most. And I first also want to show you how I do that before we do anything else. So I tend to go to the image, image section in this case. And basically what I tend to do is I actually go to remove background. This is one of the few features. And there are, you know, this feature exists on multiple websites. But the problem is, is that this feature tends to be a paid feature. So this is one of the reasons why I love this website so much. Anyway, we need an image in this case that has a background. Now I'm going to use this image right here. Let me quickly show you if, let's see if I can make it pop up. Yes, so I'm going to use this image right here. And I'm going to add it to the background remover. So I'm going to do that real quick. Let me go and find the image again. Here it is. And I'm going to put it in here. So it is now going to do its thing. Hopefully, like it always does. It basically checks if you're not a robot or if you're not DDoSing the website, it's going to process it. And then it's going to remove the background. Now, it doesn't take very long. It depends on the image and how large it is, of course. But most of the times, it doesn't take all that long. Uh, in fact, it's taking longer now than it's supposed to. Normally speaking, it should be already done. But hey, who cares? You know, life will go on. While we're going to wait, I'm, ah, there we go. Here we go. So as you can see, the background is completely removed. And we only have the person in this image that is still here. So this works very, very well. Now, if you want, you can edit the image. You can add a solid color to it if you would want to. Uh, you can even have like a different background. You can upload a background to it too. So let's say we want to have her in space. Well, we can. Or if we want, I don't know, have her at a, what is this? A forest or a lake. I don't know. So you can basically do now with this image whatever you want. It's very fun. It's awesome. So this is one of the tools that Tiny Wow has to offer, but it has way more. Uh, let's start with the PDF section in this case first. Okay. So basically, um, you can, if you work with PDFs a lot, uh, maybe you need to edit a PDF. There are plenty of resources out there to edit PDFs, but again, most of the times, you would need to pay for that. In this case, you can simply uh, upload it to TinyWow, and boom, you can edit your PDF. There's way more, though. You can uh, you know, have a PowerPoint and then make it into a PDF. You can have multiple PNGs, so m multiple image files, and create it into a PDF. There's so many cool things that you can do with TinyWow. Now, let's also go to image, of course, because like I said, this is what I tend to use most. Uh, there's an AI image generator. Now, this is not that great. Some are but this is still in its early uh, stages, to be honest. So let's say I would type in, I don't know, uh, um, dolphin wearing a hat, I don't know. Um, again, the images tend not to be that great yet. There are better ones out there like Mid Journey, which is absolutely crazy good. But you know, if you need something quick or if you wanna have, have a cheap laugh, I guess, Sure, use the AI image generator in Tiny Wow. Now we'll go back to this because I, I don't want to wait too long for this. It'll it'll generate even in the background. Um, like I said, you can remove people from pictures as well. So besides removing the background, like I showed you with the girl, you can also do the reverse. So remove a person from the image. That's also pretty fun, right? You should try this yourself. It's very fun to see. Now, as you can see, we have the uh, AI image generated. Uh, it looks weird. <laughs> It looks very weird. This is a hat, a dolphin hat. I don't know. Anyway, play around with this. It's pretty damn fun. Also, it's free, like I said. There's no credits that you need to buy or anything. You can just use this however you want and use it as many times as you want. Now, you can crop images in here. Um, you can basically, anything that you would need to pay for in this case for like these expensive programs, 
basically you can just use it all on here for free it's such a fun uh, website to use now you can also go to write and i think for a lot of people this is also a very fun section basically let's say that i would um i don't know uh for my for my youtube video i would need a youtube script right now in this case i'm gonna you can select a short medium or long uh, form a uh, form of script tone of voice let's say uh casual in this case and the topic should be about um how ai will take over the world okay so we can click on generate again it'll check if we're not trying to attack ddos the website or anything and it'll start generating in the background now for now i'm not going to sit here and wait uh we'll see this later uh so let's just continue now, uh, there, um, there, like I said, with the writing, there is tons of stuff. You can have a story generator, a content improver, meaning you can actually upload your story or content, whatever it is, right? And then it'll actually check if it can do it better and, and tell you how to improve. You can even, and this is this surprised me actually quite a bit, you can actually have a TikTok script writer. Now, this is what I think is personally, this is quite funny in my opinion, because basically what it does is it creates a very short script optimized for the TikTok algorithm. That's pretty damn cool. I also have a TikTok account, so knowing that it can do this as well, it's very nice in my opinion. Uh, besides that, it can do other stuff as well, right? Uh, make tweets, uh, have, it has a word counter as well, which is very useful. It can generate polls. Of course, it's not that difficult to, to make a poll yourself, but still, it's nice to have uh, something that is able to basically do all of the heavy lifting for you, right? It's, it's, it's very fun. Uh, so yeah, plenty of good stuff. Now, besides that, there's the video section, like I said. Uh, you can download TikTok videos. I believe it is without watermark. I have done this in the past, but I forgot if it was with a watermark. Uh, oh, no, it even says so, without the watermark. So, uh, I have done this in the past, and it worked perfectly fine. Um, you can convert a video file into a music file, uh, MP4 to MP3. You can download Instagram stuff, Twitter stuff. Uh, you can trim a video. So let's say that you only want a certain part of the video. Well, there you go. You can resize a video, like the resolution and stuff. Um, audio to text. Now, this is what, frankly, I also think this is pretty cool. People pay a lot for this kind of stuff. Having it transcribed and stuff, again, you can do this with this too. Uh, YouTube to text. So basically what you can do, this is pretty fun. You can actually insert the URL of a YouTube video and it'll give you the actual, what, what these people are saying. It's awesome, right? All for free. Um, you can compress videos. So let's say that you have a two gigabyte video and you want to, you want to have it, you know, be shrunk in size. Well, there you go. Um, and plenty of more stuff that you need to figure out for yourself. Now, finally, let's go to the file one. Also, let's take a look if the script has already been done. No, it's not. <laughs> well, good. Uh, anyway, um, so let's continue. Uh, basically, what you can do here is the, this is something that I never really use, and it's because I just don't use these types of files. But if you see something here that is of interest to you, well, then take a look at it. Now, like I said, um, this is TinyWow. You can basically, search anything you want so let's say i need um let's say i need something for tiktok you type in tiktok and i'm sure it'll eventually find it for you um but like i said this is an absolutely wonderful website that i would highly recommend anyone to use uh because sure there are websites that on certain topics do it better right but you would have to pay a lot more and this is all free and it's so freaking good Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you did like this video, make sure to click on the like button, subscribe if you want more content like this, and frankly, if you're planning on using this website, do me a favor and comment down below telling me what you're going to use it for, because I'm, you know, I have my own personal use cases for this, but maybe you're going to use it for something very different, and I'm actually very curious to hear what it is they're going to use it for. Anyway, I was Rosalie, and you were you, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.